What is going on guys? My name is Triforce Addiction and welcome back to yet another Blueprint episode of Call of Duty Mobile. So first and foremost, I want to mention something about this video. So I decided to add a little bit more saturation to the footage because I don't know, like just looking at it now, it looks a lot more colorful. I did not even know I, my editor could even do this. But yeah, I hope you guys like the new format. It does look pretty cool. So just let me know what you guys think down below in the comments. So today we are going to be talking about the KN44 Black Gold. So this is the second of the three Black Gold weapons that were included within this battle pass. The next one, of course, is going to be the HBR, but that will be in a later video. So yeah, I hope you guys enjoy this blueprint review. So anyways, let's actually talk about the appearance. So the way it is designed within this weapon does look pretty amazing. Um, out of the three black gold weapons that were given to us in this battle pass, I believe this one looks the best. So the KN44 is not really a much used weapon within this game. I hardly ever see it in like any mode, like even in ranked, I barely ever see this weapon. And I think one of the main reasons why this weapon isn't really that great anymore, like while the damage is pretty high and pretty reliable, the problem is the recoil. Like for me, in my personal opinion, like whenever I try to put like any sort of recoil stable like attachment, it doesn't let me like, I don't know, for some reason, just like the recoil never seems to get better with this weapon. The control usually just seems to be the same no matter what you put on it. And that is because it has a lot of lateral recoil. I don't know, guys, even with like the amount of recoil stability attachments that this like blueprint has, it still seems to be the same. The only difference is that the vertical recoil is slightly reduced. And that's pretty much it. So the attachments that this blueprint has is the OWC Marksman Red Dot Sight 1 with Ranger Foregrip for more stability and Rubberized Grip Tape for even more stability. And let's not to mention the Marksman does provide a lateral recoil stability. So yeah, um, it's only slightly improved, but even with all these attachments, it just seems to fall short at long ranges. But in medium ranges, this thing is pretty much a monster. And I know it may seem like I'm just like trashing this gun like crazy. And don't get me wrong, this gun's really, really good. But like just in my personal opinion, the recoil kind of ruins the entire thing for me. I don't know. It's just like ever since the KN44 has been patched, this gun has not really been like a weapon I normally use. The last time I really used it for a long time was just when I was trying to grind gold for it. And that was it. But in the right hands, this weapon could definitely destroy a lot of people. I mean... Like, whenever I go up against people with a KN44, I do lo lose some sort of, like, amount of gunfight. So, you know, this weapon is still pretty good in its own right. So, yeah, like I said, this is the KN44 Black Gold. It's a pretty cool-looking gun. Uh, like I said in my previous video with the QQ9, I kind of wish we could put Damascus around the black parts of the gun so it could look a little bit more cooler. But, you know, a man can only dream, right? But anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Um... The next episode is, of course, going to be the HBR A3. So just be, be sure to stay tuned and make sure to be subscribed for more Call of Duty Mobile content. My name is Triforce Addiction. I'll see you guys in the next one. Thank you.